Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a lip swatch video and a review video of first impressions on M Cosmetics. If you guys don't know, M Cosmetics is a makeup line created by Michelle Phan. It came out a few years ago and I tried a couple of the products and I personally didn't like them. To me, it just didn't really scream Michelle Phan. I don't know, it just wasn't my cup of tea and I think Michelle Phan sold the company, something like that. And she recently just bought it back and then launched M Cosmetics all over again. And just by looking at the packaging and looking at what she has has released so far to me this is more Michelle Phan like her rebranding like these products the packaging the logo like to me this is Michelle Phan and I'm so excited that she's re-releasing this brand and I cannot wait to try out the products I just want to be clear that these products were sent to me but of course that will never change my opinion I will tell you if something's good or bad no matter what and so far she's only released two products well three technically if you count these as two different products even though they're both eyeliners. She has released the illustrative eyeliner in a felt tip and a brush tip version. So I'm gonna try the felt tip on one eye and the brush tip on the other eye just so we could test these products out, see if they're any good, see which one I like more, brush or felt. And she also came out with the infinite lip clouds. These are long wearing lip creams. They're essentially liquid lipsticks that are more hydrating and more comfortable to wear. So we will try out all the colors. I'm gonna do lip swatches like I normally do and then I will give you my thoughts thoughts on the actual product and formula after the lip swatches but first we are gonna dive into the eyeliners which is why I have no mascara on so let me zoom you in okay so this is what the packaging looks like I absolutely love this logo I think it's so pretty I love simple packaging like this I love that it's black and white with the gold lettering and this is what it looks like I haven't even opened the package before this is the first time I see the eyeliner and I think it is so stunning well the packaging at least it looks so sleek and pretty I love it and this is the brush tip applicator and I'm gonna try the brush tip on my left eye I'm a little bit nervous to do this video because I suck at winged eyeliner honestly please don't judge me I'm assuming this is a black color it doesn't say a shade name I have my mirror right in front of me and let's go First of all, <laughs> I just did one little stroke, but that is very matte, very matte and very black, just like right off the bat. At least that's what it looks like. It has a little shaker inside, so you can shake it up and get more pigmentation, I'm sure. I didn't have to re-dip, like it wasn't drying out, I just wanted to see that, that shakiness thing. Messed up that little line right there, but I'm gonna fix that really quick. I'm hoping I can match the other eye to that. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, I think I really, really like this. So far, so good. It went on really black, really pigmented, and I mean, there is a little bit of like, a little bit of a sheen there, but barely. It's mostly matte, I would say. And that was really easy to use. I'm not the best with wing liner. I struggle a lot, but I found this to be user-friendly it didn't really skip on my eye like some eyeliners do it didn't feel drying or anything obviously it's the first time I use it the more I use it the more we shall see but so far so good based on first impressions I give this an A++ I actually really 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 like this okay so now we're gonna take the felt tip illustrative eyeliner and we're gonna use it on this eye and I'm assuming it yep it has the exact same packaging same shaker thing only this one has a felt tip and by the looks of it they almost have the exact same tip size wise like I don't think one is more precise than the other maybe the brush tip is a little bit more precise and a little bit more pointy but I don't see a huge difference this is the eye I struggle with so I'm struggling a little bit with this but I do find this one just a little bit harder to use because it is a felt tip and brush tips are just flimsier so it's just easier to just like swipe that on your eye in my opinion brush tips are easier to use but some people prefer felt tips and it, it's not bad though it's still good okay so this eye looks nothing like this eye like absolutely nothing so I'm gonna grab the brush tip and I'm gonna try <laughs> I'm gonna try to even these out and then I'm gonna put on some mascara and I'll be back to tell you my thoughts on the eyeliners 
Okay, so to put it simple, I really, really like these eyeliners. I was reading that these are supposed to be waterproof and smudge proof, and they're supposed to last all day. So in the description box, I'm going to leave you a little note to let you know if it did last all day and how it wore because this is the first time I tried this. I will leave it in the description below for you guys. I'll give you, I'll give you full details. And I was also reading that the brush tip is supposed to be for really fine brush strokes, a really precise application, and I find that to be the case. You get really precise with the brush tip. I really love it. In my personal opinion, I think this one is better. I just prefer a brush tip. Like I said, it's more precise. And the felt tip is supposed to be for bolder, more intense wing liner looks, which totally, because I don't think it's as precise, but it's still really good. They're both really black and really pigmented, like I said earlier. Now I'm just repeating myself. I love these so far. I give these a big thumbs up. We shall see how they wear, but so far, so good. I think I'm gonna love them. Okay, so now we can get into the Infinite Lip Clouds. I'm really, really excited for these. I love the packaging on this. I, I just love the new packaging, it's so nice. This is what the actual packaging looks like. Let me show you, come on, come on. I love it, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love how this is a matte black. I love the gold top with the logo on it. That looks so cute. And I, 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 I seriously love this packaging. I feel like if I had a makeup brand, like makeup, this is the kind of packaging I would do. It's so sleek and so pretty, I love it. And this is what it looks like. It comes with one of those doe foot applicators that kind of has like the dip, which I actually really like because I find that it hugs your lips really nicely. And, oh, what does this smell like? Is that like a mint chocolate chip? I think that's mint chocolate chip. Cause it's a little minty but a little chocolatey at the same time. I like it. So this is supposed to be a velvety air whipped cream that glides on and saturates your lips with full color. It also says that it applies as a vibrant liquid lipstick, but then it wears to like a beautiful stain. So I'm assuming that as it fades throughout the day, it kind of creates like a stain and it doesn't crack off or crumble like normal really drying liquid lipsticks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the lip swatches and then I will give you my thoughts at the very end.
Okay, so those were lip swatches of the eight new Infinite Lip Clouds. I did pop this one back on. This is in the shade Rose Nude. It's my favorite one. I love this one so much. Okay, so I have my opinion on it so far. It is just a first impression, but when I was done doing the lip swatches, I did put this one back on and then I went downstairs for a while. So this has been on for like 20 minutes and I feel like the longer it's on your lips, the more it does dry down or the more matte it looks. It doesn't feel drier, but it looks more matte. It doesn't even look dry drying or anything. It just gets a little more matte, like I said, 10 times. These are pretty freaking amazing. I'm not gonna lie. There are a couple shades I don't like. This one in Spanish Earth and this one in Ultramarine Violet. These aren't my favorite just because they were a little bit patchy going on, but it's not something you cannot work with. The formula is so good that I feel like you can do a few coats and it'll be okay, especially if you use a lip liner underneath. Like if you put on a chocolate lip liner and then put this on top, it would be awesome because you get a moisturizing brown lipstick, but then you have the lip liner underneath to make it really opaque and not so patchy. So that's a little tip for you if you do pick these up. A lip liner underneath on your entire lips will help that. For some reason, they swatch patchier than they come off on the lips. Like every time I went to swatch one, I was like, oh, that one looks a little patchy. But while I was putting it on my lips, they go on so pigmented, especially the lighter colors. They are so like, cre they're like moussey, but not really moussey. Not so moussey that you have to do a bunch of layers. Sometimes the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, I love them, but sometimes they're a little bit too moussey that I feel like they kind of slip or they just don't go on as nicely. These go on so nicely. I feel like it's a mousse and a cream hybrid. They literally feel like like lip clouds. That is the perfect name, Michelle. You are, you are good. I have a feeling these four shades are gonna be my go-tos. I really like this formula. I hope she comes out with lighter nudes because even the lightest nude, French nude, that one was still for me like a deeper nude. I wanna see like lighter nudes. I think that would be awesome with this formula. I would love to see more nudes. But yeah, definitely check down in the description below. I will let you know how this wears throughout the rest of the day. I will update you down below about the eyeliner and the lip clouds. But so far, based on the lip swatches, I think this formula is awesome they just glide on like butter the only thing I did notice is you do have to dip back into the tube maybe like one more time to get your entire lips you don't get your full mouth just on like the first application which I'm totally fine with because they are so freaking comfortable so yeah guys these were my thoughts on M cosmetics I'm so excited to see where this brand goes I love Michelle Phan. I've been watching her videos since the very beginning. You guys know I was like a huge YouTube watcher back in the day. And I love her. She's so kind. And I'm so glad she relaunched this brand because I see, I see good things coming to this brand in the future. Like I think she knows what she's doing and I really like everything so far. I'm not disappointed in anything. So yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below if you've tried any of these products. Have you tried the lip clouds or the eyeliners? Leave me your thoughts. What do you think about them? But yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. To me, the products just didn't... Let's put on some brow gel while we wait for him to finish that.